Yes, and um, that was the side one of Sleeps Tonight. Excuse me. <coughs> Which, I'm not the only one to have misheard that lyric. According to the uh, Daily Telegraph, four out of ten people admit confusing the words to the 1993 track, mistaking the line, call me when you try to wake her for calling Jamaica. <laughs> So no wonder I couldn't find it. I'm looking for Jamaica, call in Jamaica, and it's the Sidewinder Sleeps Tonight. He's well known for his uh, <coughs> misheard lyrics, uh, Michael Stipe. Is his, he? Uh, yeah, it's his kind of delivery is quite mumbly, <laughs> quite difficult to understand at well, times. Actually, I came to him quite late as well. I pro it was probably um, in the uh, late 1990s that I started listening to REM, and okay. I used it as a memory thing for um, a training course I was given. I was given a week to do this training course for the Bank of England, yeah. and it was the first one I'd done for a new firm that I joined. So I had my whole dining room table designing this uh, course that I was going to deliver and I constantly played automatic for the people uh, all the time I was I was um, preparing it so that on the morning when I was due to deliver the course I played automatic for the people on my what was then I suppose uh, Walkman yeah uh, and it brought back all the memories of um, seeing all the bits and pieces of the course that I was due to deliver it's kind of my formative years I think uh, that around that time um, of uh, automatic for the people but an absolutely su Brilliant. superb band I really uh, really enjoy them now whenever I get an opportunity of uh, playing it so uh, back to you sir and um, you know you've uh, you, you don't you did a few gigs in uh, 2015 you mentioned the Wigan one any others stand out for you yeah um, I really enjoyed <coughs> the words and music festival um, in Antwich uh, that was I'm trying to remember that wasn't I think it's September October, September October mm. sort of time um, that was great the Nantwich Nam show was great um, yeah, it was just it's, it was. Um, it turned out to be quite a, a good year, really, for for gigs and things. So I tell you, my highlight of Go the Tim it. Lee World <laughs> uh, of 2015. Go for it. When you supported us live at the quiz we did. Oh, that was brilliant! Yeah, I did enjoy that. That was on the top, tip of my tongue. That was the next one I was going to say. Yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. No, it was really good. We might do it again this year. So uh, while we're on air, I might ask you if you wouldn't mind doing it again. Excellent. Yeah, no, I, I'll have to say yes if I'm on, you, on air. <laughs> you, you ought to, because I'm, I'm in control of the faders. I'm trying to remember what um, tunes that I played. There was some we really funny ones. Source. I think we oh, might no, no, it was all about that bass by Megan Train. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Oh yeah, we have to think of a, a suitably uh, challenging one for you for the for you this year as well. Um, and what about um, upcoming? I know it's early in the season, if if you like, to put yeah. some gigs together. But have you got anything penciled or or written or written yeah. in the diary? I'm I'm at kind of that stage at the moment where I'm uh, <coughs> putting out uh, emails to people, um, trying to get gigs for the new year. So uh, if anyone's listening. I am available for hire, <laughs> um, but um, I think the main one that I've got at the moment that I'm really looking forward to is, is the Nantwich uh, Jazz Festival in March. Wow. Um, I've been to it a few times, but I think I've only ever played it once, which was about five, five, six years ago, so I'm really looking forward to... Do you know where you're playing? I don't as yet, no. It's, um, it's early days. Um, I've got one in Manchester coming up in the, at the Printworks um, on, I think it, that's the 12th. Um, which is uh, a couple of weeks on Tuesday. But apart from that, no, nothing coming up at the moment. And do you ever collaborate uh, or uh, or work with others? Um, <coughs> I've been told I can't work with... No, I'm joking. Um, <laughs> um, I tend to do a lot of jamming with people, especially uh, the Blue Yellows that you've you've had on before. Uh, Jonathan Tarpley and people like that have always very supportive of my of my music, so I, I usually uh, come on and do the encore with them when they do uh, No Tobacco, No Jesus, which is their sort of biggest hit, as it were. Um, and um, yeah, I've I've um, I've been playing bass um, in a friend's band um, called Brave New World. We we started recording an, an EP yesterday, actually, um, so that's coming out soon. And I'm playing quite a few gigs with them, um, and just sort of learning how to play bass at the same time. Terrific. Um, and I suppose yeah. we should also, for the, again, for those listeners who perhaps uh, don't know your background, you, you also have a job, of course. I do. I do. So this is a bar tomorrow. Time back tomorrow after uh after nearly three weeks off uh so it's going to be a shock to the system i think not uh, that uh i can complain too much no, um no. but yeah I, I teach um adults with special <coughs> needs at um uh, petty pool college in uh, in sunday way near northwich so do you ever introduce college. do you ever introduce music into into your learning or is that not yeah. part of yeah um well it's it's a charity funded um, college, so we do a lot of uh, going out there and singing Christmas carols and making making a racket for to make money. So <laughs> yeah, we do lots of singing and things. 
Good stuff. Well, look, let's let's hear another track, if okay. we may, from your from your new album, uh, "Don't Be uh, Apologetic." Okay. Uh, available on iTunes. Uh, not on iTunes as yet. Um, my last album, Headspace, is now available on iTunes, but you can find this on uh, Bandcamp. If you go into Bandcamp and put in Tim Lee, it should come up. Or indeed, uh, presumably there are links from your Facebook page. Yeah. And uh, and your Twitter feed, etc. Yeah, yeah. It's hard to remember how many things uh, you need to update, really. That one you said before, I'd completely forgot I was even on, so Django, that yeah. just shows you, doesn't it? <laughs> <coughs> okay, so which track have you chosen for us next, Tim? Um, this actually isn't on the new album, but it's one that a lot of people who come to see me regularly, um, such as uh, Jonathan Tarpley and people like that, um, tend, to, tend to request. Um, it's a bit of a sing-along one, um, and it's called I'm Just Gonna Be Me.